Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to reading for the month of July 2018. Uh, this month, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Also, this month, uh, this week, I should say, at the end of the end of the month until the end of June, I'm doing a 20% off sale all readings. So if you'd like to get one of those, you can find out more in the link in the description below. Uh, but let's see what we have going on for you. I start off the Nine of Diamonds. Uh, very good card. Uh, changes in finances, experiencing some sort of could be a raise, promotion, new job, new business. Uh, even if you're retired, it could represent more money coming in through something, you know, investments or, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so it's a very good card for changes and experiencing changes. Again, some of you, it could just be some sort of just general change. You could notice something ending, coming to an end this month, uh, and it usually leads to a new beginning. You have the nine, plus you have the five of hearts. Uh, these two cards together represent some sort of blessing in disguise. So Again, a lot of you might be realizing some sort of blessing in disguise this month as well. Uh, next, you have the Four of Diamonds, a very good card for moving. Again, actually, the Nine of Diamonds can represent a move as well. So some of you might be planning a move, or you could be planning on traveling at this time as well, or thinking about traveling. Uh, this card represents new jobs and new potential uh, businesses or starting something new money-wise as well. Uh, also a very good card for the family. And on top of all that, it's a very good card for your health and for staying healthy at this time and uh, for finding new ways to kind of strengthen yourself as well. So I like to see that. Next, you have the five hearts. For you, I feel like this is the birth of something new. I feel like it could be the birth of a new social life or, you know, some sort of like friend group or, you know, group that you belong to or something like that. So I do feel like if you are thinking about joining some sort of group or a new friend or whatever, uh, that it would be a good time for you to do that. For some of you, I feel like it could also be a new relationship, starting a new relationship, or, you know, finding a new relationship to get into uh, at this time as well. Uh, next, you show up here, uh, puts you in a position of power and strength, as I always say, to show up as your own sign, King of Clubs. So that's very good. Uh, this is a great card for authority, and it does say that some of you could be, again, getting some sort of raise, maybe into an authority position, or maybe you need to get into an authority position as well. It can be a card of uh, confusion and sadness as well, or not being sure what to do. Um, I feel like for you, if you are feeling those feelings, you just need to start something. You know, I feel like you need like a project, like a hobby or something like that. Or you just, I feel like it's, I don't feel like it's like confusion or sadness, basically. I feel like that it could be um, just restlessness and just like you just need to do something to kind of get out of it. Uh, it's a, it can be a good card, very good card for business, um, very good card for making money and having business ideas as well. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Diamonds, another really good card of money. Uh, this is a card of fortune after difficulty. It is a card of digging into things. I would say definitely, you know, a couple of signs. You, you don't have any cards that say this, but, you know, a couple of signs have had cards that say don't accept things at face value. I would say that's probably a good general message for everybody this month. Um, this is a card of digging into things. It's a card of learning more details about the things that you're doing or learning about things that you want to learn about. And it does say that there is like value. There could be profits literally in the things that you want to learn about. This is also a very good card of uh, changes in your finances, just in general improvements. And it can also represent moving and moving for a job. So again, a lot of you, you know, and again, this came up for one other sign as well, uh, but you have a lot of these cards here that could represent moving for a job. So that might be an option for some of you, uh, but mostly great card for those things I said. Also an amazing card for learning. So again, if you're in school, or uh, if you're trying to learn about something, this is a great card. Great card for learning about your health as well. So again, if you're like having to go to the doctor or trying to figure something out, it would be a great card to learn about whatever it is that you're, you know, whatever is going on for you. Because uh, again, there could be, you know, better information in knowledge, basically just learning how to do something. Also very intuitive uh, card. I would say you could be very intuitive this month. You have a lot of these cards of like intuition and uh, just know knowing things basically. Uh, and finally, you have the Jack of Hearts. Now, this card can represent an admirer, somebody who is interested in you. So, again, if you're single, this could represent love. Uh, definitely, it, you know, just in general, this card represents love and uh, attraction and people being attracted to you at this time. If you are already in a relationship, um, <clears throat> you know, it could represent the relationship getting deeper, n number one. But it could also just represent having fun or doing fun things uh, this month as well. Uh, I would say it looks like a very straightforward month for you. Uh, pretty straightforward. Again, everybody else has been kind of all over the place. But uh, yours is a little bit more straightforward, I would say, kind of simple in a lot of ways. And it's funny because actually Leo was kind of straightforward as well. Um, but uh, it looks very straightforward and kind of like, I don't want to say easy, but um, definitely kind of simple. So looks good to me. Uh, so thank you for watching and enjoy your month.